Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, today I'm going to take a ride with my Afghanistan box camera again. Uh, today I'm going to travel slightly further to visit a friend who is actively uh, doing the art of web plate photography. So I thought we'll do a portrait exchange. He will shoot a portrait of me and my Afghanistan box camera. And I will in turn shoot a portrait of him with his 8x10 um, view camera. So come along with me and see how this uh, portrait session turned out to be. Let's go. Okay, so hi, my name is uh, Dirk Raby. I've been in Singapore for about two and a half years, originally from Denver, Colorado. Um, I've, I've been doing photography all my life. I was doing camera obscuras and, and making dark rooms out of bathrooms and closets anywhere I could. Um, I just love like film. Um, and yeah, I, I first saw wet plate a couple years ago in uh, Colorado. Um, I saw someone uh, doing uh, portraits right on the street and just immediately fell in love with it and then wanted to know more. Um, you know, coming from the digital side as well, I just love that tangible feeling of wet plate having something at the end of the day, something that will last generations. You know, it's magic every time, every single time. So uh, it, as far as it, getting the chemicals um, and then getting the equipment, it, it all can be done. There's definitely some challenges, um, but uh, if you look in the right places, you can source all these chemicals that being said, they are very dangerous. Read up, learn about what they are. They're a lot more dangerous than your traditional black and white uh, film chemicals. Uh, you're using alcohol and ether and, and silver nitrate, stuff that will stain your hands. It will cause blindness in, in your eye. And uh, you know, if, if you get it on the ground, like it, it's not going away. So please be careful you know, with all these, uh, all these chemicals. So you can find me primarily through uh, my Instagram. Uh, I'm sure he will he will list that on, on uh, in the comments below. But it's at rbr um, underscore analog. I also have a website burkraby.com that you can see some of it. I might need some updating there, but uh, you can see a little bit of film, a little bit of digital, a little bit of collodion stuff all on the website. This is my uh, Intrepid 8x10 camera. Um, I, I'm using a 4x5 back on it, nice. so, uh, but it is capable of uh, making larger plates. And then on the front, I have uh, a Pentac 203 f 2.9 milli lens. Um, very fast for large format. But if we take this off, and I'm going to hand that to him, wow, and we take off the ground glass. You can see large format cameras Nothing but a box. So, but once you put the ground glass back on and put the lens back on, it's a, it, it's a traditional camera and it is a field camera. It all breaks down, goes right into my backpack so I can get out into the, out into the field and shoot. Red bell is very nice. And you can see I do have a bit of silver nitrate stains on here. Silver nitrate will stain anything it comes in contact with, including hands. Uh, keep it out of your eyes. It, it will blind you. Um, keep it away from children, pets, anything yep. that would want to get into it. So this is my uh, a traveling darkroom. It is uh, portable. It's just a uh, kind of... Uh, flight case so this all folds down into uh, a container which has wheels. Um, as far as collodion is concerned there's only a few chemicals that go into the process. Fixer which everyone's probably familiar with, uh, ammonium thiosulfate so not too much different from film. Uh, we have silver nitrate which is kind of the mother of wet plate. Um, a lot of problems will stem from your silver nitrate so it must be taken care of. 
We have our uh, salty collodion, which uh, I mixed this up earlier this month. And you see all those iodines breaking down, turning it nice and dark and amber. And then lastly, our developer, acidic acid, vinegar, sugar. Um, so those are all the chemicals as far as the process is concerned. Okay. Yep, cool. okay. So you take that out. You take your metal plate. Right in. Close it up. Into it. And locked. So that, that procedure does have to be done in, inside the dark room, but just to show you. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.